Hope everyone's um, okay. It's the 2nd of June, Platinum Jubilee, Thursday. And, um, oh, I've got a snooze coming on. What terrible timing that is. Um, so, on this video, one of the last couple of ones, uh, the UV went on, um, the pond is now clear, looking great. Feed them with the auto feeder there. And I just thought, get the fish out, out of here, because they've not been out since they've gone in. Measure them up, get the bowl out, show some images of them. In there is the Karashagoi, the Grow and Show, Koi Diaries Grow and Show. And also, ooh, the Kafaku Grow and Show. The Adam Buyer to the Buyer Grow and Show in association or Adam Buyer in association with Koi Diaries. So I've got the net off and I'll have a few shots of this, this grow on tank and I'll get them out. But from what I can see, um, they're doing great. They're doing absolutely great. The Nexus dealt with the ammonia cycling in and stuff like that with the pond cycling. Everything's settled down now. The Karachigoi is absolutely smashing the Kohaku in size, which you know you can imagine is, is rightly so from the lineage and stuff parentage of uh, Karachigoi. So I'll uh, get them out and have a look at them. The three fish in the smaller grow on go in ace as well. I cleaned the Nexus out, easy pod out yesterday, it's been a couple of weeks, it was absolutely clogged. Uh, what I'm going to do next time, I made a bit of a mistake, I flushed it all out as recommended, but uh, there was still a bit of muck in the actual uh, pipe inside where the, and the, and the actual, when I switched on, and just put a bit of muck back in there. So I've actually got, because I'm a reef keeper as well, I've got a reef tank, I've got some mesh socks, so what I'm going to do next time, when I put the pump back on, I'm going to hold the mesh over the actual outlet so it collects any muck. So um, it just doesn't, you know, the pond's not a mess for um, for a few hours or a day. So lesson learned. But I did allow it to get really, really mucky. So on that note, I'm going to oh. Just one other thing as well, I've got a 8 inch disc on the bottom drain, unfortunately the hose has popped off the air, so I've had to put a different air stone in here now, so when the water warms up some more, it was at 20 degrees, but um, the shading was fully on, and most people all know that in the UK it's been a bit on and off weather wise, so the temperature of the pond has actually dropped to about 18. Um, so what I've done, I've peeled back the shading, so it's only a third of the greenhouse. Because this is where my shaded plants are, they really don't like the sun. So I've opened the morning sun and that can just get enough heat in there to keep this boiling. So um, I'm going to do some preparation. I've got a measure of the bowl. Um, and I think mm. I've got all this stuff in it now, it's quite difficult to work out where is the best place to uh, have them. I think this is it here. I'll get some water. To book it with me, which is a pain in the barn. So I'll have to look at these. This net really does hold the water. So it can be a bit of a pain sometimes. Look, it holds all water. I came in this greenhouse this morning, watered some plants, 
and and altered my sprayers. I was in a right mess, I was soaked, absolutely soaked. There we go, that'll do. And now, case of getting one out. So let's have a look. I'm hoping this will reach. And I think I'm going to try and go for the Karashi first. I don't tell me why, but I'll get whatever I can. Bloody marvellous. Let's try and get most of the water out. There we go. The fish is in, I'll bring you over in a moment. I'm just going to measure it. Oh, his head is about fully. say 40 centimeters what a powerful fish that is I hope you can hear me I've not got my mic on today I'm just charging it up so I'll bring you over we'll have a look at the pond and we'll have a look at this fish and uh, I'd say 41 cm so if we actually go over there so we'll have a look at the actual pond itself. That's looking good, that's got some on. So they're doing well, so the pond's nice and clear. And uh, let me get in here. So I can So this really is So yeah, this is lovely. I love the Fukarin. The scales have just got some nice, nice lightness between. Um, I've just measured it and I cannot believe how strong this fish is. Um, I held it there and it's literally its tail just whipped itself out of my hands. I will find um there it goes. Yeah, I'd say 40 cm. 40 cm. I mean, look at the size. Absolute lovely fish. I have to just try and get out of the water for you. Lovely clean fish, lovely clean belly, and I, the scalation is absolutely beautiful. So 40 cm, but not only that, for me it's got a really, really cracking body shape. I mean, if you look at, if I can try and get you angled there, look at the shape in that body. Look at head. The shoulders just really stands well. 
not too long and thin a really nice shape I'm no coy judge but to me that really really stands well I'm really pleased with that I don't know how much that's grown if at all since I last I'm not going to be measuring with at the moment but I will share them with you so you've got an idea but it's um, 40 cm beautiful and it's head there's a, there's a mark on its head that black blackish dark patch that's where it knocked itself knocked itself there and it's obviously recovered so um, I'm just going to get my small koi sock now um, I don't want to tempt fate and lift it out of there I'll tell you what breeders so on and so forth make this look really easy they really do back in back in the pond so that's the Karashi Goy 40 cm if I can grab another one God save our Queen that's all I can say I'm really proud of the British proud of the monarchy I really am I'm not anti-monarchy so keeping positive positive vibes And I'll show you now how I struggle. The smaller fish are normally more difficult to handle. Hence why I'm struggling to catch one. The buggers quickly know how to get away from you, that is for sure. They ain't that. It's that thick, it really does hold water. Now this one is a really jumpy one. This one is a Tancho Goshiki, or Goshikoi, Goshiki, sorry, a uh, Jinrin because of the sparkly scales. And this is a, a Koda, it's a Japanese koi, the breeder is Koda, and I've had it since it was about sort of 25-30 cm, um, and it was one of a batch of five gin rings that I got, and they never really grown much, and I put it, brought it inside and they just kicked off, and I've got three other ones in there now, different types, so this one's really has like the Karashigoi, really has put some shape on, look at that, oh my word, and look at the side, beautiful, it's beautiful fish, I've really been lucky with that one, I really do think I've been lucky, very clean, I'm just going to see if I can get a measurement, a lot of people do, they just twist the koi around a little bit it might seem a little bit cruel but it's not it just disorientates them a little bit so hopefully they're a bit calmer when you just can get your quick measurement and that proved me wrong now that will 36 i think there 36 cm it's not got a perfect head spot but if it did you would be paying thousands of pounds for a koi of that quality but um, for a, you know, 
this won't ever reach a show or anything like that um, but no for me it's an absolute beautiful coin I love tanchos I've said this before in my videos I love moody heads so I'd love a really nice shower a tancho shower that's got a lovely mark through its head you know moody Japanese you know so it's almost like a red sun at sunset and a, a, like a cloud going across it across that head you know I love a dream koi like that so 40 cm and now yeah I'll say yeah 37 I think that one beautiful fish again and this is what you can pick up relatively you know I think I paid I think it was about I think it was I think there was 70 pound each I think when I got them so let me put that one back the smaller net I'm using the bigger net because I can catch them easier then get them in the bottom in there make sure they're secure it goes so I would at least like to get the grow and show kohaku to show you you know what no okay. it's like they're not daft are they go right to the far corner so you can't get them a little bit of news I'll show you a video as well um, the main pond I have I use RO for reef tank I've got an RO in here for my reef tank I've got two actually one for my orchids and one for my reef tank and I bought I bought another two RO units a four stage and a three stage and I put the membrane in series so I'm running RO now on my main pond which will be for another video see how that goes come on sweetie Come oh, on, sweetie. <laughs> mm. Here we go. I think I've got you now. Yeah, this this boy stock you've just got to really take your time with it because it's a real fine net. It holds the water. So this is the the Koi Diaries in partnership with Adam Bayer Grow and Show. This is a sharky line, what he calls a sharky line. And again, a really lovely fish and I think I got lucky with this one because what I wanted more than anything when I was looking at the koi is a clean white body with a nice full pattern and a tight pattern with no break in the Benny and that is that what I got for me it doesn't go too far into the tail tube um, it's actually you could probably say it's a one step because it's actually joined all the way from the head, the side, all the way through, and it's just joined slightly there. But it's got a nice white, got nice white fins, and there's no rogue Benny anywhere on that fish. And it also finishes nicely on the head for me. It probably, you know, yes, it goes around the eyes, which I don't think if you were showing, it'll probably go against it that. I think you know you, you want a nice sort of shape around that head but look at the look at the whiteness look how clean it is lovely fish again Japanese parents but bred by Adam Bayer by Koi Farm in the UK in London and Amsterdam.
So we'll just get a size for that. It's a bit frisky, this one. Ooh. You know what? I think... Could maybe, maybe, maybe squeeze 35. Because of the tail. If you look at the tail tip. Again, a beautiful fish. Because it's full, it gets bigger, I'm hoping that the pattern will flatten. So if you haven't got much of a pattern or much benny, obviously as the fish gets bigger, it reduces and gets lost. But with this one, because it's full pattern, I'm hoping that the pattern will be, you can see it's almost like that, but it will flatten when it gets bigger. So obviously still be impressive from the top. But I've got to get some growth on it. So um, 35 I'd say with that one. And get it back in. Oh, a bit wet. So I think sort of on that note I think I'm going to call it a day because that's 20 minutes already like I say this this grow on is really doing well look at the the ripple on the return just nice the ears obviously off so um, I will look to, you know, reinstate them now. And uh, but what I will do is, shall we have a quick look at the even the butterfly coil has grown no end in there. I'm coming up now. So the the Sankey and the Kahaku there, they're both Quenikoi, and they're both I got with this whole setup. So I got this, the air pump, this, all of this, all of this, all of this, the filter, the pump, the whole lot, the whole shebang, even the top, the mesh top, the two fish, and also the my big Chagoy for £1,200 for the lot. So I think I did pretty well there. It was a pain in the backside getting it in here and getting it all set up, but I think worth it. So I'm just going to risk and take my eyes off them for a few minutes and hope to God that nothing jumps out. This is always the risk when you're filming because you're taking your eyes off the ball. Um, and that's something you don't want to do. Anyone that, <laughs> that it's happened to, tend to find that you take you off the ball, then you hear a splash, and then before you know it, there's a there's a koi on the floor, bouncing around. It's lovely to see them at the surface though. So, let's have a look in here. These are the other coders. So there's a Coder, Jing Ring, Shower, a Goshki, Jing Ring, and an Achiba. I think the Achiba's female, and I say that because look at his body shape. They've all been fed the same. If you look at that one in the middle, I'm thinking male, but that one I'm thinking female because it's got the belly on look at the back and these two I think are male but I could be wrong so that's them they're obviously a bit oh, sorry it's obviously a bit skittish now because we've got the ears off the ear off and they're thinking what is happening so let me just try sorry about the glare as well can't do anything about that I'm afraid But they are doing well. Come 
come on a tuber. I thought that was going to come our way. We can have a look at that pattern. There you go. Nice fish. And <laughs> it could be that shape as well because it is greedy. If I throw some food in, that comes up first. So it's obviously getting the share of the food as well, which is not a good thing because they can get fat. So, um, spin you around. I think we all enjoyed that catch up. Enjoy the Platinum Jubilee. If you're off, and if you're not off, if I can get you up there, enjoy the Platinum Jubilee. Hope you enjoyed that catch up. Um, I'm going to call that a wrap. God save the Queen. Koi keepers, be happy. Be friendly. Don't take on negativity. Look after each other. See you on the next one.